If you click this video, I'm guessing you're looking for a better way to go and track, store, or use Notion to manage your meeting notes. So coming up, I'm gonna show you how to organize your meeting notes in Notion. If you're new here, hi, I'm Andy, a Notion consultant and ambassador. I help small business owners to be more effective using tools like Notion. I'll show you how to do this using my Notion meeting note headquarters template, and I'll drop a link down into the description below, or of course, you can use your own system instead. Plus later on, I'll show an exclusive discount code so that you can get the template at a bargain price. So make sure you keep watching. The first way to organize all your meeting notes in Notion is to store them in one place. So rather than having them scattered in lots of different pages, in lots of different areas, maybe pieces of paper, in your emails, uh, in Word documents, store them in one place in Notion. And to do that, use a database. So in my current template here, at the bottom I can open just the background store, and this is a database, and we can see that we've got our meeting meetings database here. And this is where we can go and add loads of information. So we've got the meeting name, the objective, the uh, booking status and the prep status. So is the meeting actually booked in yet? And then how are we doing with the preparation? What's the date and time of the meeting? We can also set aside a department, who's invited, the type of meeting, whether it's in person or virtual, and then also where is it taking place plus an online link. And by storing everything in one place, it's easier to find information. You can share it, you can search, uh, so it just makes you a lot more effective. Leading on from the database itself is the dashboard. So if we go back a couple of steps, here we've got the meeting notes dashboard, and you can see that we've got the meeting calendar, so we can see what's coming up. And then on the left-hand side, we've got a couple of sections as well. So meetings that need to be scheduled and meetings that need to be prepared. And if we go back to the database, we can see that that is based off these two columns. So the booking status, so is the meeting provisional? So it's just an idea, but we've not actually put it in the diary yet. Uh, is it scheduled or is it complete? And the same with the preparation. So if we started the prep, is the prep in progress? And again, is it complete? So when we go back through to the dashboard, we can say that these meetings are scheduled, need to be scheduled. And if I click on them, we can see that the booking status is provisional. And then for meetings that need to be prepared, again, those are down here. So, so the Simon and Andy one-to-one, -one, that's not started yet, so I need to begin that. And then we're in progress with the uh, quarter two all hands catch up. And think about how you could use these in your business. What statuses would you need to track to make sure that you're preparing or getting ready for your meetings or even afterwards? Are there more stages within your statuses to be more effective? I release videos on Notion and other tools every week. So do consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's free and it also really helps other people to discover these videos too. Thanks. Now we know about storing our meeting notes and also tracking their status. The next thing is to go and plan the uh, content. And we can do that using database templates. So here on the right hand side, if we go next to the new, we've got here an example meeting notes template. And if I go edit and then have a quick look, we can see that we've got the top, uh, uh, who's attending the meeting, so what's their name? Did they attend and any notes? Uh, when did the meeting start and end? any agenda, so what are the points, actions that we can track with checkboxes, uh, decisions that were made, we can upload any documents for people to check out beforehand, and then also go and schedule the next meeting. So this is a Notion database template, and if you're not sure about how to go and set these up, then just go and check out the video here in the card where I've got a whole video dedicated to setting up Notion database templates. Another way to organize your meeting notes in Notion is to go and assign certain properties. So let me give you a couple of examples. Back in our database, we've got various properties here like the department, uh, the type of meeting, but you may want to go and add additional columns that reflect your business or even personal life. So to do that, just click onto the plus, we can go here and add a select column, and perhaps we want to go and add what type of meeting is. So for example, it might be a one-to-one, -one. Uh, this could be a, a team meeting, this could be a quarterly review, we could add an all hands meeting, etc. And then let's just go and give it a name. So this is a meeting type, for example, press return. And then we can go and label each of these. So for example, this is a sales meeting, if we have a look at what's going on, that this is a regular catch up. So this is a one to one. So I can just go and put in here, the meeting type is a one to one. Uh, here, this might go and be a team meeting. So just go and think about how do you want to go and categorize your meetings, and then add various columns uh, to the database to go and tag them in whatever way works for your business. The final way to organize your meeting notes in Notion is to go and connect different parts of your workspace together. So for example, maybe you've got a department's database set up already, or maybe you've got a contact database where you've got your various colleagues stored in the database. 
These at the moment are all connected via manual just a select drop down and we can just go and pick which one is relevant for this meeting. But you may want to be a bit more advanced and go and connect them to other databases. So let me show you how to do that. If I scroll across, we want to go to plus and then type relation, click on relation, and then we want to go and find the database that we're gonna to connect to. So for example here, I've got the departments database. So if I click on this one, we can just call it departments. We want it to go both ways. So the meetings appear in the departments database and vice versa. So let's go and toggle the um, two-way relation and we'll just call this meetings, that's fine. And then just go and click add relation. Great, so now rather than just this simple drop down for department, we can actually go and pick our departments here. So we've just got a couple of examples. So for example, sales, click on that one. And now we've got the sales department connected. And if I open this, if I actually open this record, we can then see the associated meetings. If you're um, unsure about how to do this, then go and message me in the comments down below and I'll go and help out. Uh, but that's just a more advanced way and you could do the same, for example, with your invitees. Uh, even meeting rooms, you could have a database of your various locations within your business and then rather than just manually writing these in, you could actually go and pick them from a drop-down list. If you've made it all the way through to tip number five, then do go and give the video a thumbs up. It'd be great to know how many people are watching. Also, I did say to you earlier that you can grab this template with an amazing discount. So to go and grab 30% off, just head to the link in the description below and enter the discount code YT30, and that's in capital letters. So capital Y, capital T, and then three zero, and you can get 30% off this template for watching the video. Now you know how to organize your meeting notes in Notion. The next stage is to go and track your to-do lists in Notion as well. So to find out how to do that, go and check out the video here where I show you how to create a simple Notion to-do list. But other than that, thanks so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.